What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Suave Smooth from the ATL Drone Squad. And um, just want to make this video really quick um, about this uh, new flight controller that I have for my little 110. It, I, I don't I don't think it's a 110, maybe a 95. I don't know the name of it, um, but I just call it Skitter because it's little. But uh, the new flight controller is B Core um, for the the um, brushed brushed motor it, uh, it actually goes in inside the tiny whoop so but i decided to put it in this nice little frame because it looks cooler but the thing is with this is um i don't want y'all to get it and thinking that it don't work uh the thing is i don't know if it's just with i have the turnergy evolution i don't know if it's just with this transmitter or if it's with the other fly sky transmitters i don't know because i don't have the other ones but I do know um, I went on loot on YouTube because I was having an issue with trying to get it to buy. And on YouTube, everybody was saying change this, change that, change this. And that's not the case. Um, on my transmitter, when you plug this in, the transmitter where it normally shows a RX signal is still going to have a question mark. But it's going to be binded. So I'm going to show you the way that you know that it's binded. All right. So first, let me turn this on. It's going to beep because I have a buzzer buzzer put on it. Uh, black screen for a second. Sorry about this. I only got one hand. Uh, and I don't edit videos. So. All right. So. There it is, it's on. You see the little blue lights flashing. Now once I turn my transmitter on, and you have to use an empty, a empty model, okay? An empty model set, and it can't have nothing done to it. I don't know why, but if there's anything done to the model, it's not gonna work. You gotta use the empty one. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my transmitter on. Now you just heard it beep. So it connected. But if you look at my RX signal right here you see it's showing a question mark so if you're sitting here looking at the receiver waiting on it to say say that it's binded um, you're not going to see that so over here now you see that the main blue light has stopped flashing now that blue light right there is flashing simply because it's waiting it's waiting to be to be armed but you can tell as I change my modes. There you go. Every time I change my modes, here's my beeper. And then arm it real quick. There it is. So that shows you that it's that it is armed and that it's worked. So don't trip out. Just do your regular binding process. Hold the button down, plug it in. Um, when you see it beeping, just, you know, the, the regular way you bind the receiver to the fly sky. Just don't trip out. Now, what's going to happen is you're probably going to, if it doesn't, it's not going to, it's not going to stop say, saying it's looking for the RX bind. It's going to still say that forever and ever, and the controller is still going to blink. But what you got to do is you have to turn the receiver off unplug the um the quad then plug it back in then turn on the receiver and it should work okay so you're not going to see anything on your transmitter you have to go by the flashing lights so this is what happens when it's not bound See the lights flashing? Now I got a buzzer put on mine, so of course it's going to buzz too. So I suggest if you want further uh, confirmation that it's binded, go ahead and solder in a buzzer. That way you know. Okay? And as soon as I connect it back, it stops. Alright? So, if you don't get it, didn't explain it good enough, you always know you can drop me a comment. I'll get right back to you. 
Until then, this is your boy Suarez Smooth from the ATL Drone Squad. And remember, you're going to love me. Deuce.